right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakurash, to honor the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all of White Akim, Wa Akwa, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity, knowing the way of the Spirit. Right, we're going to be dealing with this clip. Um, you know, some of y'all may have seen it, but it just goes to show you the utter. Um, our people, you know, always, everything's a joke to Jake. Uh, and only the elect are going to actually enjoy doing what's right by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine. While you have the wicked of our people, they see the law and this truth and the faith and having to bury your cross, they see it as a burden. They rather enjoy the pleasures of the world, they rather, you know, be like the heathen. Eat like them, think like them, dress like them, speak like them, right? Worship their idols rather than be true to the one living power. And we're going to get this example. Now, we're not Muslims, nor do we endorse Islam. Uh, but that, those people, uh, you know, the Ishmaelites that keep it and the niggas that keep it, they share the fact that they're not supposed to eat pork. Now, many of them still eat it, you know. They're hypocrites too. But you'll, you'll actually have some that don't. Um, and that, that's because of the fact that uh, Ishmael is the descendant of Abraham. All right, so the Arabs have certain of those customs, right? Then you have that uh, false ideology that came about. So they, they keep that custom. They made it a part of their belief system. But what do you have here? Okay, let's click on this clip. like that even if it is a joke and this whole jokester prankster podcast internet faggot spirit man i can't wait for this shit to be blown up because our people have a hey what the fuck is funny niggas we at the bottom that's another video i want to do what the fuck is you niggas playing for ain't nobody else playing with us you at the bottom of every fucking tier list you at the bottom of every statistic the fuck what the fuck are you trying to be a funny man for all right so you see he's playing with his dad who uh, even though his dad is an idolater fact that he's Muslim, uh, this is something that he's taking serious, the fact that he's not going to eat pork, alright, and when you go back to our culture, we were supposed to take it this serious, man, that was the whole incident in Maccabees, the sixth chapter, the fact that uh, you had the old man, Eleazar, he chose rather to die than to eat that bullshit, and to even appear to eat it, you know, even if it was swapped out with a clean food, man. And he and this nigga is sitting there joking. It's beef. It's beef. It's, beef. it's not beef. You wouldn't did that and you think that shit's funny. And it's not funny, y'all. This is why the Lord, he did. Hey, many of our people, they're not valiant for the truth upon the earth. That one scripture in Jeremiah. Everything is a joke and a game to them. All right. They rather live like, eat like, think like, breathe like the heathen. When clearly. And then when you go to the comments, it's even worse. Because you look at the comments, you have certain Christians. Well, that's done all right, right? 
All right, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divided, uh, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean unto you. Uh, of their flesh shall ye not eat. Their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean unto you. So literally, we are not to eat swine. What is swine? A pig, which is a part of the standard American diet. So if the Bible says not to eat it, but it's pushed throughout the world and this country, what does that mean? That means the world is wicked and this country is wicked. Straight up and down. Okay. So you have this situation here, but then you come to the comments, and there's one comment that stood out. You know, everybody laughing, hee hee, and ha ha, and right. Let me get, um, oh, where's that comment at? Where's that comment at, man? I want to find the comment concerning, uh, damn. I wish you could fucking save comments, man. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Damn it. Okay, right here. Here we go. It says, what you mean don't like, you don't like swine. Bacon is good. Pork chops are good. Right? Then you come right here. It says, Christians ain't supposed to eat it either. Look in the book of Leviticus. And then what the fuck, what do you got on the way? Right? It says, very few real Christians left. And that's a true statement. Motherfuckers don't, uh, the, you know, motherfuckers ain't upholding the Bible, man. All right. So coming down. Uh, so there, here you go. This faggot. Uh, Ronan Ruel says that's in the first testament in the second it's redacted there they go that's what they do so uh, that's why hey vocab didn't that nigga eat is some ill y'all didn't he eat something some sea creature in a video some time ago the Christians actually eat whatever they so they eat abominations uh, uh, uh. so you got another guy let me see yeah, they can that's mosaic law which is hebrew jesus died jesus dying fulfilled that i still don't eat pork but i don't feel bad about it being on foods i am eating at someone's house because they forget i don't eat pork so see here next see jesus died and fulfilled that so now we can just do whatever the fuck we want to do <laughs> that's hebrew law bitch the whole bible is hebrew all right, so you, you see that you see the mindsets here, y'all. These people are not valiant for the truth. Why? Because they're not of the elect. Christians of the world, including other, you know, Edomite Christians, nigger Christians, Mexican Christians, and then you have Jake in general, the actual Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right? Israelite foreigners. You got uh, uh, Jake that's in the world that's choosing to live like a heathen rather than to not. All right, 2 Maccabees 6 and 18, it says, Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man, and of well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. But he, choosing rather to die gloriously uh, than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. So right here. And y'all should know the backstory of this. This aged man in Israel, he, he literally chose to be put to death by way of pain and torture rather than to eat pork. That's how fucking serious it is, y'all. That's how fucking serious this is. Okay? It says, uh, this for this is the love of Yahweh, uh, that we keep his commandments, and, it, and they're not grievous. So what does that mean? Do what the Heavenly Father has told us. Ultimately, it's to our benefit. All the constraints that are upon us is really keeping us from evil, self-harm, and from death. But our people, they don't love the Lord. Therefore, they don't fear Him. They don't obey Him. Love ain't taught. It ain't, it ain't uh, in the sense of that verse, you know, uh, fervent affection for somebody. That love is obedience. These niggas don't love Lord, therefore they don't obey, therefore they eat their fucking abominations. No problems asked. All right, let me get another one real quick. A cockroach is a cousin of a shrimp, so a cockroach is a land shrimp. A shrimp is a sea cockroach. 
church. Same family, they got the same last names and everything. If you look it up, they're in the same exact family. The spider and the crab is in the same exact family. Shrimp is full of, of defecation. Shrimps is made to clean the ocean. If y'all keep eating all the shrimps and eating all the catfish out of the sea, then what's going to keep the ocean clean for the ocean can give us planktons and give us oxygen. A lot of people think most of the oxygen comes from the trees, but majority of your oxygen that you breathe in actually come from the ocean. We have made the, the basically the trash cans of the ocean and the trash cans of the earth are delicacy. But this is the same thing that happened in slavery, where they gave us a pig and gave us the most nasty, horrendous parts of the pig, and then we turned it into a, de uh, a delicacy, like uh, chitterlings. What is, what is amazing about eating the intestines of a pig? But if we turned it into a, a delicacy, we put all of our seasonings on it. You know, the, what, what is, that's, that's causing all types of tapeworms, hookworms, flukeworms, vasculopsis, booski. Would you eat a cockroach? Yeah, so, you know, you know, 50% of the time, this nigga's on point. 50% of the time, he be doing too much. But right here, he's on point. We have made a delicacy out of abominations. All right, now Esau has had his hand in that. But even before him, without his influence, now in the year 2024, if you're still eating that abominations, all right, or those abominations, that's because you're cho you're choosing to do so willingly because the information is out here. Okay, granted, our ancestors who were in slavery they didn't have a fucking choice, right? But they didn't, you know. Now you have a fucking choice, and our people are choosing willingly to do evil, to eat evil. <laughs> you eat evil. God damn it. So right here, this is a shrimp, which we're not supposed to eat. Because back in Leviticus, it tells you the only things in the water we can eat is if it has fins and scales. Does this thing have fins and scales? No. Disobey the Heavenly Father, that's why they suffer. Alright, and go to 2nd Corinthians 4 and 15. They no longer have any any honor in standing by Yahweh Basha and Yahweh Shai. They prefer to stand by the lifestyle of the heathen. 2nd Maccabees 4 and 15, it says, Not sitting by the honor of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. Alright, so this is going on back then. Our people like to live after the custom of the heathen. That's why they eat abominations. That's why they worship idols. That's why they live a lifestyle that's completely unbiblical and unhebrew, if you will. You know, I'm running around on them motherfucker gonna be 35 years old with a little Donald Duck spinny hat on, man. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. The baseball cap, the little fucking goddamn propeller on top of it, man. Just completely just bugged out and inordinate. That's why death and judgment is coming, because they don't want to be changed, they don't want to be corrected. They're so far gone in their influence of the heathen that they just have to die now. That's it. All right, I just got one more. I'm going to end it. Uh, Leviticus 
20 and yeah man this 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 is this is how we supposed to be living y'all <clears throat> so I can all right y'all our people are so far fucking gone man that's what uh, um it's just gonna take the death of the masses they can't be negotiated they can't be influenced they can't you know they're not trying to hear it they're not and even that Jake there, okay, granted, he's not eating pork, but he's still a, you know, Muslim, so he's an idolater. So he, he has to die, you know, that old head, he, he, you know, he, oh, hey, he still probably wake up with his uh, socks, you know. <laughs> he unfold his socks, he go stand in front of his uh, Malcolm X picture, he give a salute, then he get his day started, right? Uh, let me see. So, you know, uh, Pops was lost in the sauce, too. All right, Leviticus 20 and 22. Ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them, that the land whither I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. Right. This is this is why we're not in the holy land. We disobeyed the heavenly Father to the degree to where He got tired of us and kicked us out. The chief sin being idolatry, which you best believe. And you know you can add in the combinations of all of it. All right. Um, this is why. One of the great benefits that we're looking towards in the kingdom of heaven after returning out shy is the perfect bodies. We will no longer sin. Therefore, we will no longer, um, you know, be prone to falling out of grace. All right. So you best believe we're not going to be eating abominable foods in the kingdom of heaven. So for these faggot ass Christians that be saying that they're just simply wrong. All right. Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, all, right, all the apostles, they didn't eat abominable foods. Okay, that vision in Acts the 10th chapter does not give you permission to eat abominations. All right, and that's what that Christian probably was alluding to, and he doesn't even know it. He couldn't even find That's the thing that kills me about it. They say, oh, we can eat a bottle of foods. You tell them, man, go, okay, what scripture is that? They don't even know the bullshit they be alluding to. All right, Leviticus 20 and 23. And ye shall not, it's like it. And yeah, and ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation which I cast out before you, for they committed all these things and th therefore I abhorred them so our people are walking uh, now this was literally dealing with the Canaanites that were in our lands right uh, Canaanites Hittites Hivites Amorites Perizzites uh, you know that's just a handful of them uh, the Heavenly Father was warning us not to be like them and none of these heathen around us and we still see to this day that that's a problem okay so that's about it. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakurash. Alright, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim. Wa Akwa, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Shalom.